So what we're gonna do is, because we know that the pulse comes out of the red lead, we're gonna go to hot leg one, and we're gonna go to neutral. We turn the tool on, on there's a little toggle, turn it on, and then you're gonna go look at the voltage first. Well, we got the call, we look at the voltage first, and it's like a fluke meter, it's very accurate. We see 110 volts, so we know that either hot leg one or the neutral are bad. One of those legs is bad. We are, the tool's already telling you that. So you, now you toggle to the load. You toggle to the load, that right there. And we know because it, there's only 110 volts, it's gonna have trouble sourcing that load. So we know that the count, we see a count on the screen and it's gonna sequence back from the count and then to the load, to the count and then to the load on that screen. So we know because there's only 110 volts, we expect to see about two amp counts because there's not a lot of integrity for to, to get that, that load up. And sure enough, that's what we see. It gets up to about 40 amps. We hear a popping sound at the dip pole. And so we know the tools found the issue for us, some probably some connection of sorts. And we hear it psh, 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 about every second or so. And then we turn the tool off. We make the change with the, the lead here. We go to hot leg two, neutral. We turn the tool back on and we go to the voltage. We see 110 volts, so we know it's the neutral. You're gonna to go to the load. You're expecting to see exact same results as you did with hot leg one in the neutral. And sure enough, you do. It gets up to 40, falls on its, the numbers fall on their face and you hear a popping sound about every second because it's in the clear, all right? So then we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna to go to hot leg one and hot leg two. Turn it on, you look at the voltage. We see 240. Well, we're hoping our integrity on our hot legs is good. And the issue is just on the neutral connection. So we're hoping to see 14 or 16 amp jumps because the integrity is good, we're hoping. We go to the load, sure enough, we see 14 amp jumps. It gets up to 800 amps, stops counting, maybe at 60 or so, it holds. That means your hot legs are golden. There's no issues with your hot legs. Turn the tool off, go back to hot leg, whatever you choose, to neutral, turn it on, find your issue, turn everything off, make the repair, then retest. You look at the voltage, you see 120, and you're hoping to see 14 amp counts, 14 amp jumps. And you turn it on and you do. And you see it climb up. It took 60 counts to get to 800. Well, now it takes maybe 64 counts to get to 800, maybe a little more, maybe 68. It gets up to 800, 68 counts, stops counting, holds. Your neutral is good. Your pair is good and there's no other issues. So you're done, all right? Now, where this tool shines is because it sources 800 amps is that you might have an issue after you make the initial repair you might have another issue on that neutral because you know the hot legs were good that maybe requires 200 amps to discover the homeowner won't discover it until a few more years later but what you're going to do is you're going to be proactive and you're going to retest to make sure it holds 800 amps so if it holds 800 amps and holds and stops counting, then that neutral is good, but it could find something that took 200 amps, maybe a bad splice. Maybe you got some lift poles and you got a, some splices and it found a bad splice at 200 amps. Well, then you make that repair and then you retest again. Now it holds 800 and you can go to the shop. This tool, I've had troubleshooters tell me that they found two, some told me three issues with one conductor before they could come to the shop because of this tool. So you get it ahead of time at the same visit, at the same you know, job, same day. So this tool's great. <laughs>